Welcome to the beautiful Styrian Mountains for another chapter in the story of the Austrian Grand Prix. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Stroll, Perez, Moore, and Ricardo, Vettel, Norris, Sainz, and Daniel Kvyat, Albon, Bottas, Kimi Räikkönen, and Gasly, Rojan, Leclerc, Kevin Magnussen, and Esteban Ocon, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. We've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish.
reducing oil wall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop.
fastest time. Rain in 10 minutes. Dry seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Our gap to the car in front is 4.7 seconds. Engine is looking a little warm. Power output will be less than optimal. Second place, you're in second place. Verstappen is ahead of you. Gap to car in front is 3.6 seconds. They're on old mediums. Hamilton is behind you. The gap is less than a second. They're on old hearts. The pit window is open. Pit window currently open. Six laps to go. Five laps of fuel remaining. Conditions are going to keep deteriorating for 10 minutes at least. Dry seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Turbocharger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum.
this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Good job, you did really well. Super driving. Smiling faces off a pit wall after a superb win here in Spielberg, and rightly so, a brilliant effort from the whole team. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? That's got to be the Flying Finn. Wait, how many Flying Fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After an event like that... <laughs> the wrong fuel strategy today or was it your management did you struggle to get through all that traffic today
things looked close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Appreciate your time. <laughs>